What is up guys, today I'm going to make a video showing how the cooling system on a SeaDoo 720 works. So this is going to be very similar for all of them, for the GTI, the GTX, the SB, the XB, any SeaDoo that uses the two-stroke engine, not only the 720 but all the other two-stroke engines that are carbureted. So, I searched on YouTube and didn't find any videos that had enough information, and since I'm rebuilding my engine, I decided to study a little bit and make a video of my own. Here we're looking at the engine from the back, so if you're looking at the jet ski, this would be the rear of the jet ski. When we look over here, we have two connections, the one on the left and the one on the right. The one on the left is the one that takes in water naturally when the engine is on. The jet pump spins, generates pressure, and pushes water through the connection on the left. The one on the right is for when you're going to flush your engine, so it will only pull water from a hose that you connect to it. Now I'm going to pull the head, and here you have the exit from the water that comes in from the back. So the head has these channels here, you can see here where the two spark plugs go. And also these holes here where the water is going to flow and cool the cylinder walls. So the water flows in here around the cylinder walls to cool it down because when we're talking about internal combustion, principally for two-stroke, we're talking about very high temperatures. This water that cools the cylinders obviously doesn't seep down, otherwise it would go to the crankcase. But it does exit through these two holes here that go to the exhaust manifold. Here's the exhaust manifold and these two holes is where the water goes into. So after the water goes into those two holes, it exits through this little nipple here underneath the exhaust manifold. And this nipple here ends up distributing the water to two different hoses. One of them is the telltale of the jet ski, and the other hose is to the back of the exhaust, which is done to reduce the amount of smoke that comes out. So, on another video, I'm already going to have my engine installed in my jet ski, and I'm going to record and show where each hose goes. So what hose pulls it out of the jet pump, what hose goes back, what hose goes into the exhaust because I couldn't find any video on YouTube either that would show how each go hose connects. If this video helped you don't forget to subscribe. See you later.